All right, what's up everybody? This is Toby with Online Security and we are back with another how-to video. This video right here is going to address some issues that we have been receiving messages about on Discord and it's specific to VirtualBox. All right, VirtualBox, some people have been having issues with their screens being pretty small. So I think this should help you all. It's a little workaround. I'm, I'm sure there are a few ways to do it, but this seems like the quickest resolution. So. If you're not familiar with VirtualBox, it is a virtual machine manager. It allows you to create different virtual machines. Looks like I have two open here. All right, so I already have it downloaded, right? There's another video that we created on how to download and set up your virtual machine. But if just real quick, if we go over here, you're just going to go to virtualbox.org and download um, the VirtualBox for your operating system. I downloaded the Windows host since I'm on a Windows operating system. After you have this downloaded, you're going to need an ISO or some type of virtual machine image. The one that we are using is going to be Kali. This is the one that this is the operating system we've been receiving issues about, about their screens being small. So you're going to go to Kali.org, right? We just going to keep it pretty simple and download the virtual machine that's recommended right here. Go to virtual machines that I'm circling around. Click this. It should drop you down to different pre-built pre machines, one for VMware, VBox. We're gonna download VBox. All right, after you download this, you should have, you should have a few files here. Well, not a few, you should have this one file right here, this Kali Linux file. Okay, and this is gonna be uh, zipped up using 7-zip. So you will have to download 7-zip Right, you go to 7zip.org. Mind you, there's a video where we did all of this in. You're gonna go to 7zip.org and download the 7zip application um, for your operating system. Once again, I'm on a Windows host, so I just downloaded this executable right here. After that's downloaded, you should have the VirtualBox machine and you should have the 7zip file. After this, you just have to extract this file using the 7zip tool, which you can see I did here. Where is it with this command right here, right? 7z, e for extract. And then I just pointed it to where the 7zip file was in or where it was located, which is under my downloads folder, right? Then after you extract that, you will have some other files like this virtual, virtual box file right here that we have. I, I dragged it over here to my desktop so we don't get confused with all these other files in here. But this is all you should need to do to fix your screen being smaller, right? There's another workaround where you can download the VirtualBox extension and install that manually. Might be a little bit complicated for some people, may not be. You can always do it that route. But once you have this downloaded, right? And, and remember, this is just the file that we just extracted with 7-zip. This isn't anything special. It's not something I just pulled out of thin air. It's literally this same file right here, right? Once you extract this, you're gonna get a few files. All right, these are two of them. But this is the one that all you gotta do is double click it, right? I'm gonna double click it on my desktop though. All you gotta do is execute it, double click it. You have it here. I'm gonna start it up and your screen should be working fine after this, right? You shouldn't have to download the VirtualBox extensions and install it manually. That is a workaround, it is possible but you don't need to do that with this um, video that we're talking about here. So let's see, where is our virtual machine at? It says aborted, why was it aborted? All right, there we go, wait. It keeps aborting. Maybe I'm not using the right file. Oh, I think I'm using the wrong file. Same file that I found. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. So yeah, let's let me not use this one on the desktop. I'm um, actually I'm gonna put it back in my downloads folder, and I'm gonna execute it here for my downloads folder because I think it's looking for this VDI file. So that's good that we just saw that error. It's saying that it can't find something. I think it was this VDI file that it was complaining about. So I'm just gonna put it back here and double click it from here. Okay. I'm 
just let me remove this. Let's start fresh. Remove only. And I'm going to do this again. And let's start this. Hopefully it starts this time. All right, cool. Yeah, so it was looking for the rest of the um, its dependencies, right? It was looking for this VDI file. All right, so this is starting up now. It's a good thing that we ran into that issue. I like running into issues when we're doing the how-to videos because you're probably gonna see the issues too, right? If you do it the way I just did it. So we ran into that VDI, uh, we found that VDI file. Remember, all we had to do was, right, let's slow down real quick. All we had to do was download VirtualBox, right? We have another video for that if this was too fast. Then we're going to download this Kali Linux um, VirtualBox machine that was already pre-built for us. Then we're going to extract it with 7-Zip. You need to go and download the 7-Zip application if, if you don't have it. Right After you extract it, you're going to get these files. And all you should have to do is double click on this file here that ends with .vbox, right? amd64.vbox. Once you double click that, you'll get your virtual machine here. Password is Cali Cali. This should log in. And if I just resize this, boom, we have a full working screen. All right, and that's it. This is all you have to do to fix that small screen issue that you may or may be dealing with. Again, this is just one workaround or one resolution. There's another one where you can go ahead and download the this um, extension. Where is it at? this extension pack, All right? This should also fix that small screen issue too, but you have to manually install this into your virtual box machine. Other than that, hopefully this video was helpful. If you did like it, please give us a thumbs up. Maybe even leave a comment about something that you may or may want to see. Maybe an issue that you're running into and we'll do our best to try to resolve it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace, happy holidays.